Reported on Friday, the People's Bank of China issued an announcement entitled Notice on Further Preventing and Disposing the Risk of Virtual Currency Trading Hype which directly defining that all crypto trading activities are illegal in the Chinese market and are not protected by any law. Let's take a look at what the announcement says and what reaction the market has made. I'm your anchor Sylvia Chen and this is Big Push Prime Time. Thank you for tuning in. Today's edition of Big Push Prime Time is brought to you by Unihash. Unihash is an exciting new NFT marketplace based out of New York City that features exclusive NFT arts and assets such as collectible cards. Complete your collection today on Unihash. Let's take a closer look at what is in the announcement. First of all, it updates the concept description of cryptocurrencies. The central bank clearly pointed out that virtual currencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Telecoins have the main characteristics of being issued by non-monetary authorities. They adopt encryption technology and distributed accounts or similar technologies and exist in digital form. They are not legal currencies and should not and cannot be circulated in the market. Second of which, this is the first time the largest number of ministries and commissions involved in such supervision documents. Among them, some of the commissions appears to be involved in signing such documents for the first time, including the Supreme People's Court, the Supreme People's Procuratorate, the Ministry of Public Security, the State Administration of Market Supervision, and the State Administration of Foreign Exchange. They together propose the construction of a multi-dimensional, multi-level cryptocurrency trading risk prevention and disposal system. This is also the first time that Chinese supervision has clearly stated that participation in virtual currency investment and trading activities involves legal risks, criminal liabilities, and the provision of trading services by overseas exchange is an illegal financial activity. After the release of the filling, the top 10 cryptocurrency all experienced declines to varying degrees. Bitcoin fell nearly 5% below $42,000. Looking at the entire crypto market, the Chinese native exchange coins have been hit hardest in this wave of bad news. Huobi token, which is Huobi exchange's native token, has seen a 20% intraday drop. OKB, a global utility token issued by OKX Blockchain Foundation, saw an intraday drop of 18.12%. According to the data from Bybit, after the China ban news circulated, nearly $259 million contracts were liquidated in 4 hours, of which the Bitcoin contract liquidated over $84 million, which was 30% of the liquidation volume. Above all the news I have for you today, you can find us on YouTube, Bilibili, and please download Bitpush Terminal for the latest information. We will see you in the next video. Have a good day.